Hi, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 video. Today I'm going to be introducing you to one of my absolute favorite tools, Canva. This is going to be a multi-part series here that's going to have a few different videos talking about the features, how you can use it, cool things like removing backgrounds, using the video editor, all of the cool educational resources that are available, and a few other cool things I want to share with you all. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to canva.com slash education. What's great about Canva is they have an educator upgraded account. There is free Canva that you can access to create a number of resources. You just don't have all the bells and whistles and you can pay for a pro account. But as an educator, you have the option of upgrading and getting a Canva educator account, which comes with features that you're going to want to be able to use. So you want to click on sign up now. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. It's going to ask for you to sign up with your work email. When I say work, that means your school. It needs to be an edu email in order to access this. So you're going to click sign up now. When you go to sign up for an educator account, you can sign up with Clever, Google, or Microsoft, depending on what your school district uses. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to log in. Now that I'm logged in, let's take a look around. One of the reasons I absolutely love Canva is the fact that it comes with so many templates, thousands of them. So you can go in and you don't have to start from scratch. If you're not great at graphic design and you just need some inspiration, you can start right there, customize it, remix it and make it your own, or you can start from scratch. So here we are on the home page, and this is where there's going to be recommendations for things that you might want to create presentations, social media, video, print products, marketing, and so on. In the upcoming quick tip videos, I'm going to be highlighting each of those things and ways you might want to use it. I can see all of my designs I've created. I can go to my most recent ones. So if I want to go back to something I was working on uh, maybe yesterday, I can see what's been shared with me. This is a great feature. I'm going to be doing a quick tip about how you can use it for team and collaboration and some ways that I've done that. You can create folders and organize your content, whether you're creating assignments for your students or if you're creating social media for your school or district. I can find things I might have inadvertently deleted and I want to go get it from the trash. I can see my classes. There's going to be a quick tip video that highlights why you might want to use the class feature. And that's the best part if you're a classroom teacher. So we're going to highlight that. I'm also going to talk about how you can create a brand kit, which makes it super easy for you to find and add your school logo or your district logo and the custom colors. So that's just a quick little intro, how you get started. You've got your account. Here's a quick little walkthrough. In the next video, I'm going to talk about all the cool features of Canva. So I'll see you in the next one. 